Hello and welcome to Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is Let's Talk About It, episode 16. Guys, we're going to be talking about what happened to the IC Championship. It went from being prestigious to where it is now. Um, I want to kind of go through some of my favourite matches that have been in it. There's a little video package of guys that have held it over the time. And just kind of my thoughts on the IC title and can WWE save it? What I want you to do is let me know in the comments below. What's your thoughts on the IC title in 2022? And do you think WWE has dropped the ball with it, making it that workhorse championship? Or can they bring it back to save it from, from where it is, since it doesn't really mean anything at the moment? Anyway, guys, I'm going to roll the intro, and I'll be back with you in, like, 11 seconds. <laughs> Before we get into today's videos guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification. All your support just helps boost this channel. I'm are coming back from my, my challenge in training in the next week, uh, so don't don't stress. There's another couple of videos coming up this week and then we'll be back to the normal morning content. Um, training wise, it's going fantastic. My legs are feeling good. I'm ready for my 48 hour challenge. I know there's going to be very little sleep in it, so that'll be fun. But apart from that, I'm ready to go. Anyway guys, let's get into today's video. Before I do, what I want to do is roll this little other kind of video that I've got. And I think I've got every person that's held the IC title in there. Maybe one or two missing, but I'm sure I've got them all in there. Um, I've added some music to it. Just go look at these guys that have held this title. Even today, like to today, there's fantastic guys holding this belt. But it doesn't seem to be getting too serious or it doesn't seem to be meaning anything and it goes between being serious and not sorry about that guys it was somebody outside the window there uh, but it goes from being serious um to not being serious like it's i don't know i feel it was a lot better before to where it is now and i'll roll the video and then we'll come back and we'll have a little rant about it <laughs> Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that wee video that I put together there. Nothing special, I did some music to it. I think I got everybody that's held the championship. And it is a kind of who's 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 who list of great wrestlers. Think about it, you've got your RVDs, your uh, Eddie Guerrero's, Austin's, Rocks, Triple H's. It's just a ton of great Bret Hart's wrestlers there that have done great stuff in the industry that have some guys that have went on to kind of hold the, the main title. But the IC title dates all the way back to September the first, nineteen seventy nine, as a result of the WWF North American Heavyweight Championship being unified with the South American Heavyweight Championship. And this is where Pat Patterson first held the title. Now I think this is actually really a cool wee bit of history and this title dates all the way back obviously the main title is there it's always going to be there it's always a number one title but I feel at the minute they're lacking a real substantial number two title and the Intercontinental title was always that one do you know what I mean it was always a person who took it would move on to the the big one at some point see if somebody could hold this belt see what they can do with it see if the fans can get behind them if you think about The Rock and uh, 
The Rock in Austin, you've got Bret Hart's Intercontinental reign when he had great matches. There's, just, there's a ton of guys who just had a fantastic bunch of matches, but I feel today in 2022, and for the past couple of years, the IC title really hasn't been important. It's been held by some of the best wrestlers to ever do it, but now it's a second thought. It doesn't matter, and I really feel they are struggling to know how to book it. You look at the Sami Zayn run at the minute, again, doesn't mean anything, but that Nakamura run that was just there, it was what it was defended once or twice on TV for nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like it was, it's just a title that doesn't mean anything. And don't even get me started on the look of the title. Compared to the old IC titles, even that long round side one that we had, or I had when I was younger, that was around when I was younger, was better looking than what this one is. It just doesn't look important. It looks like a second thought and doesn't give like a championship vibe, especially in this day and age, especially when we could get really cool looking championships. It doesn't give you that at all. Now, one thing I do want to say is, from that video there, top to bottom, had some of the greatest wrestlers to ever do it. And like I say, if you had that, all those wrestlers on a roster, in their prime, you'd be doing pretty good. <laughs> These guys are fantastic that are there. And then, I was just, while I've been watching today's one, like I said, it, it, in 2022, it feels very boring, it feels useless, and feels just like a title that we're going to give to anybody who isn't doing anything at the minute, just to make them feel that they're doing something. But for me, WWE has dropped the ball hugely with this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through some matches that... I think, I think there are some of the best Intercontinental Championship matches. Now, there is a bunch. I've tried to keep this short and simple. But before we hit that, one thing I do want to say is, like, WWE has dropped the ball huge, in my opinion, right? But you think these? this was a stepping stone for some of the greatest wrestlers that we talk about daily? Bret Hart, Triple H, Rock, Austin, Shawn Michaels, Eddie Guerrero, Rob Van Dam. This was some of the. This was a stepping stone for a lot of these guys to be seen, to get there, to be in that position, and a lot of these guys that didn't even hold the IC title that fought, like fought, wrestled in matches were then seen as they can move up and stuff like that as well, which I think is very cool. But let's get into these matches that I think are pretty cool. Savage Steamboat WrestleMania three has to be there. Um, these matches are no particular order, by the way. Just they're just threw them together off the top of my head. Roddy Piper Bret Hart WrestleMania that's a fantastic one. Razor Ramon Shawn Michaels the ladder match at WrestleMania was great. Rock versus Triple H SummerSlam ninety eight ladder match here again. This one is very underrated and it's a very, a fantastic match between these two, um, especially where they end up going to be in a couple of years. Bret Hart vs Mr Perfect, SummerSlam 91. Bret Hart vs British Bulldog, SummerSlam 92. Orton vs Cactus Jack was a fantastic one as well, um, which I think was Backlash 04, I think. Benoit vs Jericho at Royal Rumble 01. And this one is a newer one, but I really, really enjoy this. And this is Luke Harper vs Dolph Ziggler for the IC title. Um, it was a ladder match, uh, I think it was a ladder match, a TLC ladder match, I think. It was a ladder match. Um, this one is fantastic. I love this one. I really think it's really cool. And it's it made the title feel a little bit important. I know it wanted the show and stuff like that, but it made the title feel a little bit important for a little bit. And compared to now, it was even better back then, which was, I think was 2019, 2018, maybe, maybe earlier than that. But um, these are just a few matches that I've looked back and I enjoy watching, um, especially that Harper's Ziggler one. I really enjoy that one. There's a ton of matches in history that had this belt in it that are just fantastic. There's a ton of guys that held this, and a ton of guys that challenged for this that are fantastic as well. Now, the question I want to ask is, can WWE save the IC title? Of course they can, if they want to. They have enough money, they have enough marketing budget and advertising budget to make this do literally the second title in that company. But are they going to? I don't think so. What I would love to see is somebody like Big E get this belt patched where it looks like, move it back to an older style or something just that looks more important and have Big E go on a run with it. I mean, even like an Apollo Crews, I was going to say a Cesaro, but he's obviously been released. Well, he left. But um, for instance, if you gave 
at to Cesaro and you let him run with it and have fantastic matches being that workhorse and the belt can change here and there like every couple of months the belt changes whatever but it's the workhorse title where these guys the are main eventers like Cesaro, Big E these guys could be in that main event but they're no up there they're new like Drew McIntyre at the minute he's a main eventer but he's no in the main event at the minute so give him the IC title belt and have him go on a run being a beast, beating the shit out of people, making some fantastic matches, have them drop it to somebody, Big E, Drew McIntyre goes up to the main event, Big E goes in the same little run like that, then when Big E drops it to whoever's next, Finn Balor or whoever, it drops it to Damien Priest, say, then you've got Big E versus Drew, that they've had this feud already, and they've had this good match that Drew's been bet by Big E and he got the better of him. Then you go up to the when that take that to the main event, you've got the main of Big E, Drew McIntyre, Big E being the guy who's already I've got your number and stuff like that. They go for it, doesn't matter who wins. But there's just some basic storytelling that can happen, but we don't really get it. And I do think like this was a workhorse championship and I feel like it really misses it. And I had given it a story and something to get behind, something to believe in. I've given it a Kevin Owens or something, just to take it, drop it to the next person, they move up. But it makes sense, but they don't do it. Do you know what I mean? Nakamura's probably not going to be in TV for a while. This is it's a shame, and it's just it's the way wrestling is in this day and age. And this is a sort of video I've wanted to make for a long time because I think the IC title really is underappreciated. And if you just look at that list of champions there as well, fantastic guys and fantastic in-ring workers and a lot of them stepped up to that main event a lot of them didn't they? a lot of them stayed at the intercontinental level or went down which is fine as well which people need to forget no every wrestler can be a main eventer that's not how that works and that's why we have a, a lower mid card low card upper card wherever you want to put your card up your bum card if you want if that's what you're into not up to me to judge but there's a ton of stuff there guys that people just keep forgetting Anyway guys, this has been me talking a wee bit about the IC title and why I think it should be in a better position than what it is. What will you do is let me know in the comments below. Do you think it should be in a better position than what it is or do you think where it is is the best place for all that history just to be left there? Is that what you think that's okay? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell and I'll see you back here Monday, I think my next video comes out. See you then.